Welcome to Behind the Scenes for Boxing Social. We're here, Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou Fight Week. We're just outside Al Halal Player Apartments. We're on the way to interview Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Follow us for this week Behind the Scenes. We're on the way now to interview Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou. It's the first sort of big day of media week. Officially starts tomorrow, but we're managing to get this content today, so it should sort of kickstart the rest of the week. We're here now, we're just on site, we're just about to go and interview Tyson Fury. We're in first, Francis and Garner later. Stay tuned to Boxing Social, all the behind the scenes, all the exclusive content from this week. Let's go. Oh. Hey, you okay? We're going to interview Tyson Fury to kick off this fight week. Um, we've got Francis Ngannou later on. Make sure you stay tuned to Boxing Social for all the behind the scenes, all the interviews. Go to YouTube, subscribe. It's going to be loads. Yeah. It's easier to do behind the scenes when you've got someone filming it for you. No, but I wish you Just waiting on Tyson now, there's a bit of a delay, so we're just hanging around chatting to the team. But we're literally five, ten minutes away from getting the interview with the big man for this week, so stay tuned. Wait, can we get set up yet? Or? <laughs> Sweet. Oh. Yeah, I'm ready, whenever he is. Hi, me! Okay, you okay? You're recorded. As soon as you see me going mute, you can start ahead, right, man? Thanks. Okay. Well, let me know when we have to go ahead. What's up, Tyson? How you doing, man? What's up? Sure. You're all good. Why this fight seems like a good time to have a shit ton of mummy and knock a motherfucker out. That's an opening speech right there. Have a safe flight. I'll just move this out of the way a little bit. Go on. So we got here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, sure sure, yeah. I'm sure of you anyway. That's the, the trade quote. What's that one? Just get, read it out loud for the camera. Get paid. Get, get paid. Get laid. And he's kind of over my head. Very happy tone of the voice. Very so happy five. Facts. Matt Lenham Boxing Social, in association with Empire Fight Store and HouseOfBoxing.com. Delighted to be joined by Tyson Fury. We're here. Francis Ngannou, Tyson Fury Fight Week. 
You're looking well, my friend. How are we? Yeah, I'm looking really well. And yeah, I will give uh, Empire Tape a uh, big shout out. Always hooking us up in the gym. The best tape in the business! <laughs> That's one hell of a plug, Tyson. Yeah, there but... you go then. Can't say fair than that, can I, Jamie, son? <laughs> On Saturday. Yeah, can't say any better than that, really. You mentioned there you did your final eight rounds. Yeah. How long do you expect this one to go with Francis Ngannou? I don't know, you know. I'm going to soften him up with a jab and then try and knock him spark out with a right hand, mm -hmm. as I always try and do. We'll see. It might go early, it might go late. Who knows? It all depends on what, what um, how he brings the fight. You know, if he comes at me like a raving lunatic, then I'll knock him out quite nice and quick. But we'll deal with whatever comes after that. You know, people say, are you a bit nervous about getting injured or cut or whatever? Mm -hmm. I couldn't give a fuck. If I get a 15-inch cut across the top of my face and I can't do the fight on December 23rd, then so be it. You know, I'm not going to start pulling punches or be, not being rough with Ingarno because I got some sausages looking at the ringside who wants to fight me. Yeah. Good things come to those who wait. And for whatever reason, if the fight doesn't happen, I get injured in the Ingarno fight, mm -hmm. then we'll move on and it happen down the road. But that's of not real interest to me. If I have to get my arm chopped off the next day after beating Ingarno, then I'll have to do it. That's it. I will do everything necessary to win on the night. No pulling, no punches. Mm -hmm. I want to inflict a lot of damage and a lot of pain on him. And, um, and that's what I'm looking at doing. It might have meant something to Lennox Lewis or Joshua or whoever, but it has never meant shit to me. Mm -hmm. The only belt I haven't won in boxing is the central area. Yeah. And I, I'm looking at winning that once upon a time. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get my chance. Whoever that is, I'm coming for you. <laughs> bob, bob, bob. You'd see the best version of Tyson Fury. But it seems to be, I can never get going. I have 22 months out of the ring and look what happened in the third fight. It just keeps getting from active to nothing. A few fights, nothing. And here we are again. I've just had 11 months out of the ring, back to square one again. Mm -hmm. tonight, and then we'll think about what's going to happen after that. Yep. I want to ask you quickly, because it's been in the news. Um, Anthony Joshua's gone on this retreat where he stayed in darkness for four days. Um, the character building. So I want to get your opinion on what he's doing and why he's doing it for and what's your thoughts on it. Yeah, unbelievable. One thing to say, out in the cold! <laughs> well look, let's sign this off. You've got a message for all the fans who are tuning in uh, live on ESPN, TNT, yeah. Box Office. I have. Big shout out to all you guys who's going to either be there or, or buy it on TV. Put on the show as always. See you Saturday night guys. Good luck. All the best. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Cheers mate. Appreciate it, bud. <laughs> Where's Georgia? Good man. Don't think. Right. Out in the cold. <laughs> Looking brilliant. Good job, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cheers. We've just come out of the interview with Tyson Fury. Um, he spoke about Francis Ngannou, the fight with Alexander Usyk, which is signed. And I think if he doesn't get cut, don't get injured, that fight, I believe, will go ahead on the 23rd of December. He's also talked about Anthony Joshua and his darkness retreat. Um, really funny. He's gone into a lot of stuff. The interview is out now on Boxing Social. Take a look.
But um, over the years, get very uh, get used to MMA, and then getting back into boxing, uh, and basically at this level, it was very different. Look, everyone knows your journey. I can win this fight on points as well. Do you truly believe in your heart of hearts? If you don't manage to get him out of there, if it goes the distance, you win this fight on points. I do. I believe. Uh, not to say it's going to be very tough. Either, mm -hmm. either, either one, uh, either way, going to be very difficult because Tyson is very smart and uh, very experienced as fighter. But I believe in both, and that's why I've been training. I mean, uh, I wasn't just sitting there and expect that oh, I'll get there and knock him out. Yes, I do have uh, more chance by knock him out uh, than I do getting the decision. But I still believe that. That can happen. I have the ambition to, to do MMA, definitely not to go back to the UFC, mm -hmm. uh, but to do MMA, and that's why I have a, uh, I have signed up for a fight with PFL that identified sometime next year. So, regardless of what will happen on Saturday, I will still do some MMA uh, next year, but um, I still intend to do keep doing boxing uh, along the way as well. There's a lot of time in some Well, as I said, uh, like father, like son. In this case, I don't know, like son, like father. <laughs> so they are just being them. You can't do say anything. And uh, personally, I don't give so much about what they think, what they say. I think they just being uh, playing a character. Uh, I believe they are, yeah, they're just playing a character. They are actually nice people who play their character pretty good. So I let them play their game. Okay, right. You've got a message to all your fans, the people around the world who've supported you from the beginning to now and the ones who stood by you? Well, I would, first of all, I would say thank you for the support. Uh, thank you for believing in me and uh, thank you to be on my side uh, at any moment, even when it's tough, even when uh, nobody believes. Uh, and uh, let's keep doing it, guys. We're gonna, we get this. We get this. There's a lot coming. Francis and Garner, thank you for talking to Boxing Social. We look forward to seeing the fight and we'll catch up after the fight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we just finished wrapping up with Francis and Garner. Um, he's very calm, very at peace with this event. He wholeheartedly believes that he will beat Tyson Fury, whether it's by knockout or on points. Um, he's not looking past him. He rules out a return to the UFC. Talks a bit about John Jones and how he wished that fight would have happened, but rules it out kind of completely. Um, but he's in good spirits and it makes for a good fight and a good event. So yeah, stay tuned, the interview will be out later on this evening.